welcome to a new video. I just arrived to Skåne in Sweden and I stopped a bit to stretch my legs. And in some hours it's time for the first really important uh, competition of the year for me. Which will be the Swedish Night Orienteering Championships. And of course I'm super psyched for the season to start for real. And I've been feeling strong the, the last week so this will be super fun. And... Uh, my game plan is clear, I want to make a clean uh, race tonight and we'll try to make it simple when possible and also I want to be aggressive from the start and really challenge my physique and push hard when the orienteering is easier and then also allow myself to invest more time on the challenging controls tonight. It's also fun to be back doing these videos. It's been a while and uh, it's because I've been super busy with work since I came home from uh, my travels. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be back doing these videos. And now I will put down the camera because I will start in three hours. And from now I will just uh, relax and get in the right mindset and focus on the right things before the race. But I will talk to you guys after the race and now you will get to see parts of my race uh, from the GPS track. So it's now the day after the Swedish Night Orienteering Championships and it was a complete disaster for me. I managed to get mispunched. Uh, somehow uh, one of the controls I punched didn't uh, take. I don't know what I did but it's how it is. But anyway, my speed was way too low so it wouldn't have been a good result anyway. So that is how it is. And now it's a new day and we're going out training. I'm here with Walter from Espeko and we're doing this Team Mila training. Since we're in Skåne we need to take the opportunity to do some training in the Team Mila train. Yes. What do we expect from this train Walter? Yeah. Really nice train. Hopefully. Hopefully. Skåne isn't my favorite place to do orienteering, but since Team Mila is here, we need to learn this terrain, so yeah. We have no choice. <laughs> we have no we need, <laughs> need to be here. <laughs> yeah, we need to be here. <laughs> we need to do the job, because uh, last night I didn't do the job so well, so now I will step up the game. It's a new day again, last day before I'm traveling back home and I've moved to Karlshamn where there is a new competition taking place today. A quite small uh, competition but still some really good runners in the Men 21 class, uh, a long distance race. So I get a new chance to do a good performance and uh, that's the beautiful thing with sport, you always get a second chance to improve and do better. So yeah, I'm looking forward to today. I will really give it my all to leave this weekend with at least one race that I can be proud of. And now I'm out on a short morning jog here to get my legs started. And yesterday, by the way, the Team Mila training was super nice. Tough train, but I got a good feeling for the Team Mila train, so that was a nice experience. But now, focus up on the race. I wish we could speak the truth. 
as you can see, I'm wearing some new colors. I told you guys before that I'm switching clubs to this season, but I just realized that I never told you to which club. But as you can see, I'm switching to Fredrikstad SK. Of course, it was a quite tough decision leaving my club Rensbeko, which has been the club that I started doing orienteering for many, many years ago. Uh, but it feels super motivating to, to be running for Fredrikstad this year, a club that really have high ambitions in the relay and a club that I have been training a lot with uh, this winter since I live very close to Ferry Stop. And today is actually my debut running in this jersey because in Portugal on the Portugal U meeting I hadn't uh, got the jersey yet and on the Swedish night champs of course I will still be running for Jens Beck on the Swedish championships. So today debuted in a new jersey and I will really try to to do a good start in these uh, new colors. Or I will not try them. I say I, I hate the word try. You should never use the word try. It gives uh, like your mind uh, an excuse that you maybe will fail. So, today I will do a good race in the new years. I wish we could speak the truth. I wish we could start a life. And that was more like it today. Today I could do a really good race, so that feels uh, great. I could do what I set out to do and managed to do a very good technical performance the whole way. And although the legs felt heavy, I managed to, to push uh, as hard as I could. So it feels great to end this weekend with uh, this kind of a race. And it was a positive sign in many ways. I wasn't that far behind either. I finished in fourth place and I was 3 minutes and 41 seconds uh, behind Simon Hector who also was one of the fastest guys at the Swedish night champs. So for some reason I was running way better today and I don't know why but uh, today was way closer to what I thought my shape was and what I hoped my shape was. So yeah, that feels great and I'm proud of the race I did today so then it is much nicer to have a long drive on my way home. On this six hour drive on my way home wouldn't be that nice if I did a, another crap race today. So yeah, it feels good and I hope you liked uh, joining me on this competition weekend uh, as well. It's nice also to be back vlogging a bit again and hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun and I will see you in the next video.